Welcome to the local news network Telluride. I'm Julia Caulfield. In the headlines, San Miguel County is stepping up its efforts to reduce avalanche risk on Ophir Road. After a couple close calls last year with cars coming soon after slides on the road, the county is installing avalanche gates to keep travelers safe during mitigation and cleanup. The county is also streamlining its communication systems so residents will be alerted for road closures. The 2023 real estate numbers for the region are in and sales were down. There were 24% fewer transactions compared to 2022 and dollar value was 22% down. That was mostly due to high demand and a shortage of supply. Realtors are hopeful that new projects like the Four Seasons in Mountain Village will help offset the lack of inventory for buyers. San Miguel Power is investing in community-scale microgrids, a combination of solar panels and batteries that can provide backup power for mountain communities, including Ridgeway, Ofer, and Rico, in the case of an emergency outage. The Department of Local Affairs awarded $30,000 in planning grants to the communities, and the technology is in demand in other towns across the state. But Ofer already rejected the plan, and the landscape in Rico makes it difficult to find a suitable site. San Miguel County Sheriff already has a smaller scale microgrid, and the Telluride School District is planning to implement one as well. DOLA has $10 million in grants as part of its Microgrids for Community Resiliency program. In other news, the Telluride Ski Resort slopes aren't just for skiers and snowboarders, they're also home to wildlife, like these cute deer caught on social media bounding across a run, dodging their human counterparts. Keep your eyes open for cross traffic. For Local News Network Telluride, I'm Julia Caulfield. For more local news, tune in to KOTO Radio weeknights at 6 p.m. or check out telluridelocal.news. Thanks for watching.